Hi, so in this video I'll be creating a UEFI Windows 7 USB boot disk and I'll be following these steps. So the first thing you need is this zip and unzip utility 7-zip uh, which is right here so I'll have this in the description section. Um, secondly, I'll be extracting the files from an ISO file. So normally you'll have it, you'll have all the files you need on a DVD whereas I have it on an ISO file, image file, so I'll be uh, unzipping that and copying it from an ISO file. And I'll be partitioning the uh, USB drive. This you may not have to do uh, if you already have the partitions you want on the USB drive. Then I'll be uh, copying the files over to the USB, creating the required files that need to be boot bootable via UEFI. So uh, let's get started here. So I've downloaded um, 7-zip and what you'll notice is I will be so this is my ISO file so if you don't if you're copying directly from the DVD just uh, you don't have to do this step uh, whereas I will be copying from an ISO file so I'll be extracting the files so I'm gonna right click so I'm gonna highlight the file right click select win 7-zip uh, and I'm gonna unzip to this folder here. So while that's unzipping, I am going to go into Programs, Accessories, Command Prompt, and I'm going to run it Administrator. And I will be using Disk Partition. So Disk Part and I'll actually be partitioning the USB drive. So you may be able to skip this step if for you, uh, you've already partitioned and formatted your USB drive. So I'm going to list the disk and make sure you have the right disk here because you'll be wiping out everything on the disk. So my disk, my USB drive is the 8 gigger which is uh, 7.6 gigs here. So I'll be selecting disk 3 and I'm going to say clean. and be very careful here because you are uh, deleting everything on that drive so I will be making the drive active first I have to create a partition so I'll create partition primary and I will be selecting the partition and I'll have all these steps in the description section for you to cut and paste making the partition active and bootable and then finally I will be formatting the file system to FAT32 and that will be it for the preparation of the USB drive and you'll notice in the background the extraction of the ISO file is finished So I am going to exit out of this disk partition and you'll notice if I bring this up my drive here, the removable drive is blank. So the first thing I'll be doing is going to my extracted fi ISO file here, uh, ISO folder. I'm going to copy all of this into my USB drive. Now while I'm copying the 3.10 uh, gigs here, I have to extract a file from the source. So if you go into where your files are, where your uh, DVD is or ISO files are, you go to Sources and search for install.wim. So uh, that's the largest file which is why I sort it by size right click 7-zip open archive and what I'm doing here is I'm extracting the EFI boot file so if I go into directory 1 and again all of these directions will be in the description area of this video go into Windows go into boot folder go into EFI folder and if you scroll all the way down, this is the file we need. So it's still copying the files here. And while it's doing that, I am going to go into the 
EFI folder that has been copied by the boot disk uh, on, on the USB and I'll be creating a folder right on the USB and I have to call it boot so keep in mind this is in the EFI folder under the EFI folder here of the USB drive I'm gonna go into the boot and from this from the 7 zip console here I am gonna extract this file right here and I actually have to rename it so, so I'm gonna rename it to boot x64 which is what is expected so uh, after I do that I will wait for these files to be uh, to, to finish copying so the files are almost done copying and, and normally I'll wait until all of the files are copied even before I uh, create this boot x64 file um, but it's close enough so I will go to the EFI folder go to Microsoft and this is the final step go into the boot folder copy everything here go back into the EFI folder go into the boot folder that is not on the Microsoft remember I copied all the files from here now I'm gonna copy it to here I'm gonna wait until this copy is finished first uh, just a couple more seconds and looks like it's done or gonna be done in five seconds alright so now it's done I'm just gonna paste everything from that folder to here and uh, this uh, USB thumb drive is all set now so this is good for booting both to the the legacy method which is the master boot record and also UEFI uh, so hope this works for you I've tested this on about eight computers and it's failed to work on one of them which is uh, particular to its BIOS but all other all seven and nine seven to nine of those computers booted using just UEFI so this method has been tested and working and I uh, hope it works for you thank you for watching